Hi guys, it's Paula here. Welcome to another video where I encourage people painting no matter what. Today's video is a brief pause of our fall painting series because Halloween is gonna be next week and I want to share with you guys how to paint some Halloween doodles like a jack-o'-lantern, a ghost and more and you can even use them to decorate your house. Hope you like it, so let's get started! I have my sketch done in pencil and I quickly transferred it to my watercolor paper. There are very easy doodles here that I'm just filling in black like the bat. Take your time and make sure you have sharp edges painting it. Then I'm mixing some orange and yellow to achieve a more realistic color for the pumpkin. It will need a few steps, letting it dry in between, but still is a very easy and fun doodle to paint. I fill the whole pumpkin face and then I'm taking the orange by itself to create some stripes and darkening the bottom. While it's drying, I'm taking a purple color to paint the pumpkin's hat. I'm using just purple to fill the top hat, but I'm varying the value of the color as I go so it creates a more interesting result. And it's very simple to do it. You just dip your brush in clean water and keep painting, so the paint will be less saturated. Here I'm using a round brush size 2 that has a nice tip to do the small areas, but also holds lots of pigments and water to paint it faster. Back to the pumpkin, I'm darkening a little more the bottom part of it and enhancing the wrinkles. I'll let it dry again. So I'm back to the head, painting it with a gray color. I'll do exactly the same as I did on the top hat. I'm using just one color, but varying the value. You can see that the gray is bleeding into the orange because it was still damp. But don't worry, you can use a paper towel to fix it. For the stars, I'm just filling it using a yellow color. Back to the pumpkin, I'm using the glazing technique because I'm still not happy with the orange color that I got, and then darkening a little more the bottom area. For the tree, it's the same as the bat, just fill it in black. How is this video going so far? If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now I'm filling the inner part of the head using a dark grey color and using the same color I'm going to paint the spider. I'm not painting the face of the pumpkin yet because I've checked it and it's not dried. Make sure it's completely dry before you do it, otherwise it will be blurred. Meanwhile, I'm painting the broom. I'm using just two colors, dark and light brown. It's very easy, I bet you can do it. And how about you? Are you ready to Halloween? Are you going to trick and treat this year? Leave a comment down below and if you are planning to go, be safe keeping social distance. Now I've just checked again if the pumpkin is dried and it is. I will be painting its face now. You can use the same technique to paint as many pumpkins face as you want. There are lots of references on Pinterest that you can be inspired by. Take a look there. And since my channel is about painting plants and flowers, I couldn't avoid to paint this leaf. But here's the thing, enjoy the process of painting. You can take a cup of your favorite tea and give some minutes to yourself. Everybody needs it. Some people say that painting is like meditation. So I hope you can feel relaxed after watching my video and if you try this tutorial, tag me on my Instagram, it's watercolor by Paula. I'd love to see your Halloween doodles. You see how easy is painting this leaf? I bet you can paint it. Let me know in the comments if you are planning to decorate your house for Halloween using these doodles. We are almost done, bear with me. For the ghost, I'm using a light blue all over and I'll let it dry before adding the face and the details the same way I did with the pumpkin.
while it's drying I'm filling the last star and then I will start painting the boo sign which I think is very funny. I really had fun creating this tutorial. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite doodle. I think my faves are the pumpkin and the broom. What do you think? Now I'm just adding the final details to the ghost, filling the wrinkles and painting the face. So the base of the bow is dried, so I can write down the letters and make some gray lines as, as shadows. And that's it for this video! I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I've enjoyed creating this tutorial. Don't forget to click on the like button and also to subscribe to my channel. Next week, I'm gonna come back to our fall painting series and I'll be showing you how to create a fall branch. I also share much more of my paintings on my Instagram, Watercolor by Paula, so follow me there to see my daily posts. I'll leave the link in the description box. Thanks for watching! Have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!